use them or not. Why did they go after you, Elizabeth? I guess one must have snapped the other out of the trance state. And what? You couldn't do anything else about it? I was too busy trying to not get ripped to shreds, same as you. What did you even do, Mom? You just hid behind a wall. Elizabeth- At least I tried to do something. Right, Daddy? No, William. We need to stop walking out in the open, letting whatever monsters exist in this dimension come and try to attack us. Wasn't the entire point to figure out how to get out of here? We're all definitely on the same page, Mom. You're not adding any substance by pointing that out. Elizabeth, I don't quite appreciate your tone when speaking to your mother. You treat me with almost no respect yourself. So what are you talking about? Your father and I can treat you however we want. You will show us respect, however. Dad? Enough from both of you. We're supposed to be looking for another human. What information do you think you're going to even get from a guard? Even if they know why we're trapped in these hallways, do you really think there's an escape of any kind? I wish I knew. It doesn't mean anything to me, Clara. Some force is keeping me entrapped in this dimension. I will either do something about it or die trying. You don't think it's... who? No. She can't be behind all of this. It seems she was going for you, Dad. Once again, you seem to be the primary target. Keep an eye out for her, you two. And don't let her take control. Hold on. Who's that over there? Go get them. Dad? I think Mom is trying to take advantage of you. What are you talking about? I don't know. Do you notice how she's always trying to question your and my motives? So, what does that mean? She's always trying to get your attention, too. Isn't that annoying, Dad? Elizabeth, what are you trying to say? She is an obstacle in our way, and she is inhibiting us from enacting our plans. I don't believe it. I know my wife. Well, you don't really know if she's your wife, do you? I mean, she could easily be a projection caused from these corridors, don't you think? Just another monster, but with the appearance of the machine her soul is trapped in. That doesn't mean it's really her, though, Dad. You could get trapped if we're not careful. Very interesting, Elizabeth. But by that logic, how do I know you're real? I know. That's a good point. Let me prove to you that I'm your daughter by showing you my loyalty. Does that mean... Would she do that for you? She would never do that for you. What are you proposing? Let me kill her. What are you? What do you monsters want from me? We just want to ask you a few questions. William, put down the camera for a second. I'll tell you anything, just please spare me. Quiet. How did you get here? I don't know. That's what I've been trying to find out. I don't know why I'm here, I don't even know what this is. Do you remember who you are? Yes, my name is Jeremy Fitzgerald. The last thing I remember was working at my job. But I also know who you are. You're William Afton. You're the reason for all of this. Even you two. He's the reason why you're trapped in these robots. He, he's the reason why this place is haunted with uh, who knows how many soul lost souls. Hey, if you don't stop with the whining, you're going to get punished. Do you want that? Tell us more, Jeremy. What else do you know? How do we get out of here? I don't know. I've told you everything I know. Please don't hurt me. Have you seen any stairs, elevators, or doors? Any kind of exit? Uh, I could have. Y yes! I think I saw a door leading up to the to a second floor. I, I, I don't know what's up there, though. I, I don't think it's wise to find out. And why is that? The closer I get to the door, the louder I hear voices. What do they say? They tell me to t turn around. Or what? I don't know. That's all I know, I swear. I don't know if any of this is real or if I'm dreaming or I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to go back home to Elizabeth! What? He didn't know anything. I wasn't done with him. He could have known more things that could have been useful for us. I think we got the general idea. Right, Dad? I think so. 
If what he was seeing was indeed real, our next plan of action is definitely finding the next floor. But you both don't even know where that is. Which is my exact point. I wasn't done interrogating him, Elizabeth. What could he have possibly said that could have helped you out? What directions could he have provided? We're in an endless maze of corridors, Mom. You need to calm down. Anything would have been better than having no instructions at all. What was even the point of this if you're just going to take him out? Exactly. Nothing of value was lost. Both of you. Quiet. What? Hold on. conflict I have with my daughter. I can't abandon her like this, nor can I put her down. down. If we spend time trying to save Elizabeth, we might not have a chance to save ourselves. Do you not see how things are getting worse and worse? Even this conversation might be putting us in danger. I don't know how much time we have left, Clara. You won't even make an effort to save your daughter? This is going to have to be your decision, William. I guess I'll do whatever you feel is best for us, for us. But you need to decide. Do you want to put her down, or do you want to save her? 